Friends, welcome back. We are going to do scientific notation in this lesson. And it still follows along with our decimals because we're using a decimal, but it's kind of a double dipper lesson. We're combining math and science together. So we're going to be experiencing very, very, very large numbers and very, very, very small numbers, both that are going to be using this scientific notation technique. Now, make sure that you download the worksheet that goes with this and let's get started. So beginning with the larger numbers. So when we create this, the base number needs to be between one and 10. And so what we're going to do is really just move the decimal point to create a number that follows this rule. So let's take a look at this number. Do you know what this number is? Count up those zeros and see if you can figure it out. It is six zillion five hundred trillion. Now that is a huge number that is actually kind of hard to figure out because we really have to count all of those zeros. And that is why we use scientific notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of zeros. So I have three and I'm going to go all the way across until I put my decimal point between the six and the five. Because remember, it has to be between one and 10. So I can't do 65, it has to be between one and 10. So we've got 6.5. Then I'm going to multiply that by 10 to the power of 15. Now, because I moved my decimal point over 15 places, that's where this 15 right here comes from. So six times 10 to the 15th. Now we also use this technique with smaller numbers. And so it's going to be the same except instead of moving the decimal point to the left, we move the decimal point to the right. And our exponent is going to be negative, which will indicate that this is a very, very, very small number. So let's practice. What is this number? It would take me quite a while to actually figure out how to properly say this number. So we're gonna do scientific notation to make it a little bit simpler. So I'm gonna count all my zeros, and then I'm going to have 88.7. So I move my decimals over 13 spaces. So I have 8.7 times 10 to the negative 13. And remember, it's negative because that is showing us that this is a very small number that is significantly less than zero. Okay, so I want you to try this one on your own. Okay, so here I'm gonna take my decimal point, move it over, move it over, move it over. I ended up moving it over eight spots. So it's 9.3. Remember, it has to be between one and 10, okay? So it's 9.3 times 10 to the eighth because I moved it over eight times. Okay, now pause the video and try this one on your own. I moved it over 14 spots to the right. Put my point between seven and two. So I have 7.2 times 10 to the negative 14. And remember, this negative is really important because if you forget the negative, then it's going to be a massive number and we want it to be a really small number. So don't forget that negative. Okay, friends, that is it. Super quick lesson. Make sure that you download the link and practice so that you have scientific notation down because it will help you not only in your math test, but maybe also in the science test too. Okay, friends, believe in yourself just like I believe in you.